Okay, this is video number 10, video tutorial number 10 of the PHP um, pair, uh, which means pair PHP extension application repository tutorials. And this is part two of the uh, the uh, installation of the structures, data grid packages, uh, drivers, all, all of them at once. Uh, the data source drivers and the rendering uh, drivers. Um, so I was able to communicate with Pear and I was making a mistake. Um, so uh, we have Pear install installed on our system as you can see through the uh, command line and just to show you uh, we go Pear update channels all the channels are update here are the commands and I was notified by a pair that uh, on uh, Sunday probably Sunday evening or Monday morning this uh, page for the uh, structures data grid will be upgraded just to, to notify you that um, um, that the default install is for stable and you'd have to go into your configuration uh, file of, of pair to change that uh, for your command line so the way that you have to uh, install this see this thing beta since structures data grid is still a beta um, you have to install it uh, uh, using the beta so when you have these uh, these all-in-one ins uh, install commands right here where this hash where this hash mark is this number sign is you have to put the dash beta um, right there in order for it to install and to demonstrate this let me go bring in my notepad and I already have it uh, down right here I have pair install structures data bit uh, data grid beta uh, hash mark uh, data resource I mean data sources so let's go ahead and copy that go to our command line paste And as you can see, they're downloading them all, and they're going to install them all, all of the data drivers, data source drivers, excuse me. And it's also downloading the structures data grid. So if we go to our PHP pair folder, and we go under structures, data grid, and we look at the data sources, all of the data sources are there. Now we want to go ahead and install the data renderers. So we go pair install structures underscore data grid dash beta renderers. Go back to the command line, paste that in. okay they're all installed if we go back to our structured data grid and we go and look at the renders as you can see they created a renderer folder and we have all of our renderers there so we can't forget that we have to go back to our bin folder pull up our PHP INI file go to the bottom and copy this statement right here add by pair add it by pair let's make sure that uh, I think I uh, let's make sure that uh, that our uh, change our error reporting to notice now this is not recommended because PHP 6 is going to be able to uh, you're going to be able to do all in PHP 6 e, e report and all so I'm not recommending that you do this but I'm just doing this so that we don't have to deal with those messages for right now um, go ahead and save that then we go to our WAMP saver WAMP server PHP uh, file INI file we already have the notice there as you can see go down to the end double space paste that in 
go ahead and save that close out of that um, oh and please don't forget to um, in order for your data grid to render you have to install the NDB2 um, uh, data uh, package so let's go ahead and install that and then we have to install the MySQL uh, package also okay so let's go ahead and restart our server it's restarted if we go here to the WAMP server just go ahead and refresh that if we go to samples and we click on default there it is voila um, and we're gonna get in this is the last uh, video on installation so in the next videos we're gonna get into actual different uh, samples you can write here's the uh, the sort form the HTML sort form or not sort form just regular HTML form and here's the HTML table we didn't put any fields but here here's some columns here's one column and four rows I mean four columns in one row I'm sorry so in the next video as you can see we've done this right so um, we've gone over everything from the alpha to the omega on installation of pair WAMP server and everything else so now we're going to start using coding tutorials and going to different ways that you use pair um, into your uh, web pages and your applications so I hope you enjoyed this since this um, series on installation of pair and PHP and we look forward to you for the next tutorials uh, which will focus on the structured data grid alrighty